Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty every living God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of your holy martyrs, Grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us an ending protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once live among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath, 
like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ, by grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works, that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, His we are, His people, the flock He tends. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Give thanks to Him, bless His name, for He is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. The Lord made us, we belong to Him. Please stand. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he asked and said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all kinds of greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to sort up my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, we have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, 
to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Isa ho sa mga perks bilang isang pare ay madalas nakakatanggap kami ng kung anong-anong mga regalo. Especially pagdating ng Pasko, especially kung ikaw ay parish priest, no? samot saring mga kung anik-anik na regalo ang matatanggap mo. To the point ho na sometimes, kapag bumisita kayo sa isang parish priest, birthday niya, Pasko, o kaya anniversary ng kanyang ordination, ang kwarto niyan, hindi magkamayaw sa paper bag. Siyempre, wala pa doon yung cash na binibigay kay Father. No? Kaya, no, sobrang blessed, no? so to speak, no? ang isang pare kapag mahal na mahal siya ng kanyang mga parokyano. No? However, the temptation for the priest, no, for us, is, is at times, no, we just put them in the cabinet. No? We just place them no? and at times forget them already. No? May nagbigay pala. Pero tinitingnan namin na palagi kailangan magpasalamat. Pero as to what we will do to the gifts, no? nandyan lang yan, no? nakastore. Minsan pa nga, no? nire-recycle, no? ipinang-re-regalo din. No? What am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? No? Today in our gospel, Jesus is talking about one's ability to accumulate things, possessions. But at times, it could also hinder one's capacity to assess ano pa yung mas mahalaga kesa sa pag-iipot. Ano pa yung mas mahalaga kesa pag-iimbak ng kung ano samot sa aring mga material no, na bagay o kayamanan. We heard in the gospel a man went to Jesus asking to be the arbitrator, no? Mag, maging tagapamagitan between two siblings, no? Para hatiin ang mana. No? E sabi ni Jesus, ba't ako? No? Wala ba kayong sariling prudence to decide on things? No? And he continued, no? Take care to guard all kinds of greed. For though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possession. No? I guess we can all agree na importante ang pera. Importanting mag-imbak. Importanting tumingin para sa future. No? Pero sinasabi rin sa atin ni Jesus ngayon, no? it's not only that. No? Ano ba yung isang bagay marahil na nakaligtaan ng lalaki sa kwento. One's capacity no? or role perhaps to be what? Channels lang ng grasya. Tulay lang para maiabot din ng grasya na to sa iba. No? Kaya minsan, no, kami mga pare, nagiging hoarders rin no, ng grasya. At hindi lang kami, tayong lahat. Na imbis ibahagi ito, no, ah, nandyan na lang no, sa kwarto. No, na-accumulate na nang na-accumulate. No. Imbis maging tulay tayo, no, conduit, no, para maibahagi din ang biyaya ng Diyos sa iba, no, I guess, yung isang bagay na nakakalimutan natin ay yung ating awareness na lahat ng yan ay hindi atin. 
na tayo ay posibleng ginagamit lang ng Diyos para ibahagi din ito sa iba. One factor is our forgetfulness. No? But the other one is much more complicated. What is this? Attachment. Attachment. No? May it be possessions. May it be power. May it be nakagawian ko na eh. No? Na mag lang na mag no? Ito yung mga ugali ng mga mga elders. No? Na kung minsan sa bahay, kapag ninglilinis ako ng bahay, no? pag umuwi ako sa amin, no? ang hirap linisin ng bahay. Alam niyo kung bakit? No? Especially pag doon ang mga parents, nandun si mama, naku, linisin mo yan, ibabalik niya ulit. <laughs> Kahit yung mga bumbilyang sirana, no? <laughs> Kahit yung mga kung ano-ano pang mga appliances sa sirana, no? nandun pa rin. No? Kaya kung titinan mo bahay namin, parang dami-dami mga kung ano-anong abubot. No? Hindi na de-declutter, no? So I guess for this holy mass, no, let us pray to the Lord for that grace, no, na matutunan nating isa-isahin ko ano importante at ko ano hindi, that we are able to appreciate our possessions, no, but at the same time, our capacity to let go of the things na hindi naman na kailangan natin, dahil baka kailangan na yan ng iba. Let me end my homily with you with a simple experience. No? Few weeks back, no, when I learned of my new assignment, no, I will be assigned abroad. I was somehow choosing the stuff that I was going to bring abroad. No? Kaya, no, mga damit ko, mga shorts, mga sapatos, no, some of my relo, no? sa mga abubot ko sa kwarto, unti-unti ko nang ano, um, pinamimigay sa workers. Siguro mga two weeks, three weeks kung ginagawa ngayon. No? Lo and behold, nag-message din sa akin yung makakasama ko doon abroad. No? Sabi niya, anong size ng damit mo? Ano pang kailangan mo? Pati may mga jacket, meron na nga daw ako doon. Pati sapatos, meron na rin. So yun, no? While I was decluttering my stuff here, no? where I'm, I am about to go, may nakaprepare na agad. And I guess, this is a good sign for me, no? That I am able to declutter. And we are all invited to do the same. To choose our true sense of security. No? Who is it? God. No? We may have the attachment, no? but let us pray to Jesus whether or not to let it go, to give it, no? so that great things may be given to us. Though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possession. Amen. Please stand. With unlimited confidence in God's care for us, we open our hearts to our Heavenly Father for the gift of wisdom in order that we may realize what is truly important in life. In every prayer, we all say, Father, enrich us in your ways. Father, enrich us in your arms. That the Holy Father, our bishops, 
priests, and religious may continue to make the presence of Christ known in the world through the simplicity of their lifestyles, let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your arms. That justice and equality may be promoted through effective political, social, and economic reforms, let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your arms. That we may be sensitive towards the disadvantage and may we learn to share our riches with the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your arms. That those who are sick or suffering may experience the richness of God's presence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your arms. That in your mercy, Lord, grant light, peace, and eternal rest to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your arms. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Father, we thank you for the abundance of your blessings. Help us to handle responsibility by the possessions that you have given us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this year, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Ignatius of Antioch, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.